I think today, I always say I'm only going to be on for a specific amount of time and I end up just being on longer. So but for sure today I'm only going to be on for like about two and a half hours. So let's see. So show starts in two minutes and 42 seconds. Let me set this up. Okay, so I am going to start the music. So I will be having to mute it. This one is sold. Let's see, 50 seconds. Let me actually get the items out of the bottom down here. Anyways, just ended the show. It's currently 12.32. The orders are slowly coming in. It was a great show. Initially, it was slow, but I feel like I've been experiencing that lately. It like starts off slow, but then it kind of starts picking up. We had how many orders? So yesterday's show, we had 18 orders. Today, we have 12. Listing sold. Yesterday, we had 45. Today, we have 38. Yesterday was... 797 and then today was 615 so not bad Packaging up the orders. I do not get to finish. I have a few still that I haven't done. I'm just gonna go drop the ones that I have done. Well, at least the majority of them. This one though that I wanted to repackage, not really repackage, but I wanted to toss in a little gift for her. She did message me saying how she was really excited to get her package. So I wanted to toss in a little something extra. I'm debating whether I should just wait and kind of because I feel literally all over the place because since I did have a show on Saturday and then Sunday um, there were about like three or four people um, that wanted to bundle so combined our two orders and since Poshmark doesn't do that um, for like two different days I basically have to do it myself like create a new listing of the total amount they purchased and then send it to them and then cancel the other two orders the thing is though i kind of feel all over the place so for example she changed her address this morning so i need to confirm to see what address is the good one and then which are these two no which is that one sorry this is the one that i wanted to send her an extra little gift and then that one over there um, she purchased twice, so I no, hers is good to go actually. And then I have all these down here. The post office closes at five, and it's four thirty-eight. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send these. Okay, I'm just gonna take these, and then the rest I will ship out tomorrow. Okay, let me go take these to the post office, and I will be back. So, hello and happy Tuesday. I'm currently about to package up some orders. I have 14 pack orders to package. Um, we're actually going out of town tomorrow. So I was supposed to get them out today, but I didn't get to pack them earlier today. Um, so I'm gonna get them done now. I have a disaster of a mess. I got inventory. When was it? Oh my gosh, I can't remember when I got inventory. But I got essentially like 250 pieces of inventory. And then today, I just got about another 60 to 80 pieces. Um, they're actually in the living room, but I wanted to get this organized. I had a show yesterday, and this is kind of the outcome of it. Let me show you. Looks all nice and organized. I have these bags here where I was just unboxing because it was like an unboxing theme. And then this is all new inventory, new inventory, new inventory, <laughs> swimsuits, inventory that's already listed. New inventory, all that's new inventory. All of this is unlisted new inventory. 
Um, and then this box, this blue box that you see here is all of the items that sold. So overall, yesterday's show was really great. I sold about 47 pieces. It was like a six hour show though. So it was a pretty long, long show. By the end of the day, my back was really, really hurting. Um, I wanted to get this organized first, organize everything. And then after I kind of organized it, I, I wanted to get ready and like kind of start packaging orders. And then another thing is that my vendor or like my wholesaler is currently having a sale. They're having, I think it's like 25%, anywhere from like 50, 10 to like 25% off I believe depending on how much like inventory you get so I looked at it and <laughs> it's a really really great deal so the temptation to like buy more inventory I feel like I should but then I'm also like okay I have more than I need this is definitely gonna keep me busy for a while um, but then I'm like thinking like okay like I feel like it's better to be over prepared than under prepared, right? Right? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of going back and forth as to what I should do. I just don't want to overwhelm myself either with inventory because I, I, I get easily overwhelmed. I feel like chaos or like mess really does mess with me mentally. So like this here, this room is just, it's just really bothering me so i am gonna organize this i have kind of like a little system okay so let me um clean up and kind of organize this and then i'll continue <laughs> I'm also barely seeing some of these items. So I have like, I think how many bags of these? Like three bags of these, I think, of inventory that I have not even gone through. So as I'm like pulling these clothes out, I'm like barely seeing them for the first time. Cause I literally just un um, unboxed it and just tossed everything into the bags. Um, so this is literally my first time seeing these items. So this is a whole lot better. I feel so lucky and so happy that I have one, two, essentially three. So two, three of these big ones full of inventory. Literally, I am stocked up aside from this one here with all the hangers and then all of that there. My desk is dirty as always. By the way, I finally finished my 500 uh like little business cards or thank you cards i used them for um to tag during the show so if something sold i would um these aren't it but i would like write the name number and then tag it um but i finally fish finished it so i gotta print out the shipping labels and then we print them out so i'm just going back and forth whether if i should order more inventory or not so i don't know what to do a part of me says like no you have like a lot but i do have a lot of inventory so i don't know I'm not, I'm not too sure what to do i am still obsessed with my label printer um i even was able to figure out how to use the stickers so i purchased these little stickers i think there's like 750 of them i purchased the pink hold on as soon as i figured out how to use it i placed an order i was like oh my god i need more <laughs> So I placed those colors because I thought they were fun. And the way I'm using them is I'm putting, let me show you, the QR code for my Instagram and then the QR code for my Poshmark. So that's a little tip for you. And so I put it on the outside of the package so that way, you know, whoever gets a hold of the package um, can scan it. I think it's, it's going pretty good. Another thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit was the website and kind of like my plans with it. As you may know, I started Reverie Trends, bought the paperwork and everything, it's an LLC, with my plans of Shop with Ashley being that and like converting this into just completely Reverie Trends, getting rid of Shop with Ashley completely. But then I was like, no, I kind of low key like the Shop with Ashley, even though I kind of wish I had really thought about the username before and you know get a new neon sign and then just because i just didn't really like the username shop with ashley i wanted something fun cute um 
I wanted something better essentially. And so because when I did start my Poshmark account, it was actually something else. And then I ended up converting it into Shop with Ashley, not knowing that I wasn't again to hosting Poshmark live shows. I was just gonna do it to kind of, you know, resell some of my items. Wasn't planning on it being much. Um, but then, I don't know, I just started like hosting Poshmark live shows, really enjoyed it. And now I have made it into essentially another like full time income. Um, so I just decided that this is gonna be its own thing. And then I did start like Reverie Trends wanting it to be a kind of women's clothing. Um, but then I started thinking about it more. I started thinking about it more and I was like, okay, I really do not need two businesses that revolve around selling clothes. I have this one, which I love, I enjoy. It does take a lot of work, but I did not need another. I feel like it just, I should have really sat on it and thought about it, but I didn't, but it's fine. I feel like I'm learning as I go. <laughs> and so anyways, so I have decided I'm going to convert Reverie Trends into essentially shipping supply. So poly mailers, packaging tape, um, that is what I'm going to be converting it into. Hopefully by the summer, it is a full-blown shipping supply company, poly mailers, packaging, tape. Sorry, my nose, it, my nose is bothering me. So that is kind of my plan. I've already talked to a few manufacturers in China and I uh, there's one that I am talking to for sure. I really like the prices that they gave me. It is a bit, it is an investment. <laughs> So it is an investment. I've been thinking about this idea since I started doing like, I guess Poshmark related content, uh, but it didn't start really like marinating, I guess you could say, or it wasn't until this year that I, um, when I started hosting my shows that I started thinking more and more about the idea. Um, but it never occurred to me that I could start one or could do it. Long story short, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for Reverie Trends into poly mailers, um, thank you cards, packaging tape, I feel like that would be really, really great. And so I am talking to a manufacturer right now in China and the size that I'm going for for my first round of orders is gonna be a 14.5 by 19, which is essentially this size. I decided to go this size because I was really thinking about it like, okay, worst case scenario, if it goes wrong and like I don't sell, it goes to <laughs> total crap, I'm just gonna use them. And if we go that route, I'm actually very smart because I essentially save money. <laughs> So that's the way I'm thinking about it. There is risk, but I feel like there's not a whole lot of risk because oh, worst case scenario, I will use the poly mailers. I buy these off of Amazon, which they're not bad. They're good. They're like your decent poly mailers. Kind of boring. So the ones that I'm going for are going to be more trendier, fun, colors, prints. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited. The first print that I'm going to be printing on the poly mailers is this. Um, I actually did get the licensing for this um, design. I did buy it from, an, I guess you could say like an artist or a graphic designer. Um, so I'm very excited. My hopes is that with the in the future though, I can like design my own and make my own whenever I have time. Um, but if not, then I'll just continue um, supporting small artists or you know graphic designers in that way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with Reverie Trend, so I'm so excited about that. I have been thinking about it for a long, long time, and I feel like that's like the right way or the right thing to do, right way to go. I especially, especially love that it is a form of, I guess you could say like passive income because um, it's not like my shows. My shows I have to be on to make money. I list the items on essentially my Poshmark, but out of all the items I've listed, honestly, I can say that I've only sold like maybe one or two just regular price to where like, not even regular price, they sent me an offer. Um, so really truly, all of my items mostly sell through shows. So essentially for me to make money, I have to have a show. As opposed to the poly mailers, you know, it's kind of passive. So um, yeah, I have to still put in work and everything in regards to creating content, email marketing. I'm not too sure when exactly I'm going to launch um, because I'm still talking to a few, not to a few, I already have one in mind. I'm a little bit cautious because it is my first time essentially ordering out of the country. Um, in regards to my inventory, I purchase everything within the United States. There's no like worrying there, but this is like out of the country. I don't know much. I know there's like an import tax. I know there's like a lot of little things that you have to really like kind of watch out for that you could get like, I guess, in trouble. 
So I have been doing like my research and everything into it, seeing what I have to do, how to pay. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I'm learning a lot, but I'm enjoying it. I am I'm enjoying it. Anyways, 